Ciao, welcome to Beatspot, I'm Marco and in this video I want to talk about the new plugin Transit by Baby Audio, which is a plugin for transition. So let's dive into it. So this is the plugin, let's see how it sounds. I have this transition and then I will turn it on and see how it works. Okay, now let's turn it on. Sounds nice, so let's dive into it. So this is the interface. Pretty nice, like any BB Audio plugin, and let's see how it works. Here we have the transition control, so this is the master knob of the whole plugin. So if we move it like just turns around and kind of automates whatever we want to automate within the plugin. Then we have seven slots, and these seven slots can be filled with 19 effects. So let's see how everything is sorted. So for effects like filter, for distortion, noise, etc. Here we have the type, so we can select high pass, band pass, notch, low pass, and then we have other controls. So we have the cutoff, we have the resonance, we have the mix, and these dots are the on off switch for the automation control. So if we just turn it off, we have this parameter like fixed. And if we turn it on, we have this dot moving. So it's really nice because like when we have the green, the green line, it's going positive. And when we have the magenta line, it's going negative. Here we have also the slope, so we can have like a linear. Or we can have like a ramped up, ramped down, uh, curved movement. As you can see. And you can choose to mix them together or keep them all linear and then play with the automation line within the DW. Then we have this kind of arrow. So this is the starting point and this is the end point. So arrow where it starts, line where it ends. And then we have all these filters that filter auto pamp, bit crusher, chorus, delay, distortion, filter, flanger, noise, oscillator, OTT, phaser, pitch shift, pump, reverb, spread, tremolo, and the utility. We also have some randomized option. And if we want to change the order among these modules, we just do like this, they just switch. And if I move it like from here to here, then we have everything moving backwards by one module. What other can we say about this plugin? We have the global mix, we have the output, uh, gain compensation, whatever knob. And and that's pretty much it. It's really simple. So I was a bit skeptical at first uh, as an Ableton user because uh, all the fat tracks are great and making these sort of stuff work, but this makes it even easier because you don't have to set the macros anymore. You just have to set uh, like the movement, uh, the direction and the range, but it's so easy to swap into whatever kind of effects. Uh, you can use the random feature and more. So the only real limitation of this plugin is the seven modules, but I think that's more than enough for accomplishing whatever transition effect that you want to apply to your track. We also have some presets from Henry Wang, Zardonic, Modstep, Solid Tracks, Heavy, uh, Lumberjack, uh, Venus Theory. Nice. I actually don't bother much uh, using these uh, transitions because uh, too much time spent listening to the whole transition and browsing between things. You can use like the random the random feature and pick some random stuff and tweak them together but because each track has its own needs and you also have like your taste and you want to make a specific thing so this section could be probably better sorted using the effects as logic because following the artists and name they gave them I mean, it doesn't make much sense. So having like Venus Theory, one transit beams, it doesn't tell much to me where it is. I, I just want to see probably some more reverb or delay or distortion, whatever kind of categorization. So I can just go through them more quickly and get to the result I want way faster. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I think this plugin will become a staple in my workflow from now on because while I tend to stick to Ableton stuff, as much as I can, this one really makes the workflow way faster, way easier. And it will become even easier as soon as I start crafting my own presets for my own needs. And that's it, basically. This is really worth it. 
I recommend it. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.